Okay, so in this video, we will prove the following theorem. The assumption here is that we have two differentiable functions, the g of x and f of x, and if the derivative of g equals the derivative of f for all values of x, then the only possible conclusion is that g of x is equal to f of x plus some constant c. So if you think of this geometrically, the result says that if g and f have the same derivative, then g must be a vertical translation of f. So up to a vertical translation, this result says that the derivative defines completely a function. Let's prove this. And with the result we proved in our previous video, the proof here will be extremely short. The idea is to construct a new function. So let h of x be quite simply g of x minus f of x. Well, as both g and f are assumed to be differentiable, the difference is also differentiable. So differentiate both sides. So the derivative of h will be the derivative of g minus the derivative of f. But by assumption, g prime of x is equal to f prime of x. And this is true for all values of x. So therefore, this is equal to 0 for all values of x. And now we can quote the result of our previous video. If a function has a derivative that is equal to 0 for all values of x, recall the intuition, the rate of change of the function is always 0, so the function is never changing. Therefore, it must be a constant function. So the function h, having a 0 derivative for all values of x, must be a constant function. So h of x equals c for some constant c. But what was h of x? It was g minus f. Adding f of x on both sides, we have that g of x must be f of x plus some constant, which proves the result. If two functions have the same derivative, then one function must be a vertical translation of the other. So let's look at this graphically. And again, the way you should remember this is that the derivative determines completely the shape of the curve of a function up to a vertical translation. So imagine we have a differentiable function f of x, and you ask, well, how will other functions with the same derivative as f everywhere will look like? Well, we have our result. If some other function has the same derivative as f, that function must be the original function plus some constant, therefore a vertical translation of the original function. So you could, of course, translate the function up. I'll try and make it look semi-decent. Or, of course, translate it down. And that's it. So up to a vertical translation, the derivative determines the shape of a graph completely. And that's it.